Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Hello everyone. In today's tutorial, we'll see a quick way to make awesome double exposures effect using just one image in Photoshop. All right, fantastic. So let's get to it. All right, so I will go ahead and open Photoshop and then I will take the image I will be using and open it right here. All right, now we'll double click on this background to unlock it and then I will name it BG for background. Now I will need to make a selection of uh, the model in here. So I will uh, go and select the quick uh, selection tool and I have uh, auto enhance in here checked and then I will make a selection of the model in here doesn't need to be a really perfect selection we're just uh, gonna use uh, this selection to make it as a silhouette of the model so we'll zoom and then I will press alt so I can deselect this part in here I will just really quickly deselect this part okay so this will work now I will make a new layer on top of this background layer and I will name it silhouette and then I will press Alt Backspace so I can fill it with the foreground color. And then I will press Ctrl D to deselect. Alright, now I'm gonna press Ctrl T so I can enter the transform mode. And then I will make it bigger. So I will press Shift Alt on my keyboard. And I will make it bigger. As right here. Alright. Okay, this will work. And then I will one click on this check mark to commit the change. Alright, now we'll take this background layer and I will put it on top in here. And then I'm gonna make it as a clipping mask to this uh, silhouette layer in here. So I will press Alt and I will go between the two layers. And as you can see, this uh, down arrow will show while I'm pressing Alt. So I can one click and as you can see, it will make it as a clipping mask to this uh, silhouette layer in here. Now I can place uh, this uh, background layer where wherever I want it. So I'm gonna press Ctrl T. And then I will make it a little bit bigger and I will put it in the middle just around here all right all right now we'll go and choose solid color and I will choose a light gray color in here and then I will take it and put it uh, under the silhouette layer in here and as you can see now we have a background Next, I will select the background layer and I will make a copy of it. So I'm going to press Ctrl J and then I will take it on top of this uh, solid color that we just made in here. And then I will press Ctrl Shift U so I can desaturate it and I will change the blending mode of it to soft light. And then I will go to filter, blur and I will choose Gaussian blur. And I will give it a 30 radius pixel in here. And I will lower the opacity a little bit around 50%. Alright, so we're almost done. As you can see, it's really quick and simple. Now I'm going to add a little bit of adjustment to it so I can make it look a little bit better. So we'll select this uh, top background in here and then I will go to adjustment and I will choose curves. And I will play a little bit with the curves in here. So in the RGB channel in here, I'm going to play with the highlights a little bit. All right, and then I will go to the red. Let me add a little bit of the red. All right, and then I will go to the blue and I will add a little bit of the blue. All right, now I will go to adjustment again. And this time I will choose exposure. And in the offset in here, I will increase it a little bit. Just a little bit. And I will decrease the gamma correction. Just a bit. And there we go. We have a really cool double exposure effect using just one image. And as you can see, the result is awesome. Alright, so I hope that you enjoy and you like this tutorial and it was a little bit helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe and comment and you know wait for more tutorials to come and have a nice day. 
Thank you for watching. Oh, for sure.